Hi, I'm Sene Harbi, professor at the University of Sousse, Tunisia. My involvement with open educational resources started with the Open Book Project uh, in 2014. Since then, I'm engaged in different activities concerning open educational resources. In terms of awareness, I pushed forward to organize several events, local events. The, the last one was in the context of Open Week. It was uh, an event, a bar camp, uh, that was supported by the IFIG, which is an organism uh, belonging to the IUF. Thanks to the uh, UNESCO chair that I hold, uh, there is now a department at the University of Sousse, a small one, that is working uh, to promote open educational resources. Of course, I've participated in several conferences, meetings and semi seminars around the uh, OER, and here we are uh, participating to uh, the Open Med project. There are several interesting initiatives worldwide about open educational resources. Of course, there are the prestigious American universities. Of course, I'm talking about MIT and Stanford universities initi initiatives, but also there are remarkable initiatives in the MENA region that I think deserve to be cited. Particularly, I refer to al qadi Ayaz initiatives in Morocco and the IDRAC platform, which is, to my best knowledge, the first non-profit Arabic MOOC platform. But with my respect to all the OER initiatives, I think that the Slovenian strategy about open educational resources is the most interesting one in that it is a comprehensive multi-level program that leads Slovenia to be in advance in comparison, to, uh, in comparison with other European countries. Many aspects are very interesting in these initiatives. Number one, uh, the initiative, the Slovenian initiative, implies an amazing trade-off between the top-down and the bottom-up initiatives. Number two, educational institutions are encouraged to redesign their curricula on the basis of innovative ICT services. Number three, the initiative also addresses the legislative aspects by amending the adequate legislation which, go, which goes to the open education spirits. Finally, this initiative has an inclusive aspect in that it implies partnership between public, private and the voluntary sector. Now, back to the MENA context, particularly to the Tunisian context, I would say to the policymakers, it is late but better late than never. To Tunisian educators, I would say, let's start, just start with what is available.